Hello students. In this video, I will explain how we can construct a context free grammar for the language L is equal to a to the power n b to the power m where n is less than equal to m less than equal to 2m. That is the range of m is between n and 2m. So whenever we generate a's, we generate them with respect to n and when we generate b's, we generate them with respect to n. So as I've told, we generate A's with respect to N and we generate B's with respect to M. Okay. Now let us construct or see what are the different types of strings which we can have in this particular language. So if we take N, M, then we know that we have a condition, right? And the string. Our condition is that n should be less than equal to m. This is less than equal to 2n. Now we take uh, n is equal to 0 as well as m equal to 0. So we have the condition n less than equal to m less than equal to 2n. So is the condition satisfied? Yes, the condition is satisfied. So what is the string which is generated? It is epsilon. So we can consider epsilon as our minimum string. Next, I'll just consider n equal to 0 but m equal to 1. So it will be 0 less than equal to 1 less than equal to 0. Is the condition satisfied? The condition is not satisfied. So we cannot have a string which is generated. This condition is not satisfied. Next, I'll uh, take n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 0. So we get a condition as 1 less than equal to 0 less than equal to 2. So we can see that this is also not correct. So we cannot generate a string in this case. Next, I will take n equal to 1 and m also equal to 1. So here we can see that it will be 1 less than equal to 1 less than equal to 2. So in this case the condition is satisfied. The condition is satisfied. So what is the string which is generated? That is the string which is generated is a to the power n p to the power m this is the pattern of the string which is generated now both in this case in the fourth case n and m is equal to 1 therefore it will be a power 1 p power 1 and that is equal to ab the string ab is generated so we can tell that here for each a generate 1b So this is a pattern. We can tell this is a pattern. For a, a, you generate a B. Next, we shall take N as 1 and M as 2. Now, what happens in this case? N is 1 less than equal to M is 2 less than equal to 2. Is the condition satisfied? Yes, it is satisfied. So now we have a to the power n that is a raised to 1, b to the power m that is b raised to power 0. So we have strings which are generated as a, b, b. So we can tell that for each a generate 2 b's or generate a pair of b's. Next, if we take n as 1 and m as 3, so it will be 1 less than equal to 3, this is right, less than equal to 2. So we can tell that this condition is false. So no string is generated. Now we can be very sure that any value, if the value of m is greater than or equal to 3, then we will not be able to generate any strings. 
now i'll increment the value of n so here we get 2 less than equal to 0 less than equal to 4 we can tell that the condition fails so no string is generated next i'll increment the value of m to 1 so we get 2 less than equal to 1 less than equal to 4 here also there is no string which is generated next i'll increment this value to 2 so we get 2 less than equal to 2 less than equal to 4 so we can tell that the condition is valid so in this case it is a raised to power 2 b raised to power 2 so this would be 2 a's and 2 b's so that is for each a generate a b pattern okay similarly i'll increase uh, the value of uh, m to 3 now we can see that it is 2 less than equal to 3 less than equal to 4 so here also the condition is valid so we get a raised to power 2 b raised to power 3 so this follows the pattern as a a b b b so you can tell for uh for a a you can have a pair of b's and for a a you generate the corresponding b so there are two patterns you can see that there are two patterns which we observe in this language that is for a a generate its corresponding b and uh, for a a generate a pair of b's these are the two patterns which we observe in this particular language i have rewritten the patterns here that is in this case it is for every a one b is generated in this case it is for every a a pair of b's it is b's are generated here it is for every a one b is generated in this case we can consider for every a a pair of b's are generated and then for every a a single b is generated so we can observe that there were two patterns which uh, were uh, seen in the uh, types of the strings of the language that is either for every a a b was generated or for every a a pair of b's were generated so while writing the rules we can write one rule for the minimum string therefore we have one rule as s tends to epsilon this is for the minimum string then we can write one rule for this pattern but we know that this is called recursively this pattern is called recursively so we write as for every a one b is generated and this pattern can be called recursively by using a recursive variable s and uh, we write s tends to asb as our rule the next pattern which we see is for every a two b's have to be generated so for every a two b's have to be generated and then if this has to be called recursively we make use of a recursive variable s which is called n number of times so there are three rules for uh, this particular uh, grammar that is s tends to epsilon s tends to asb and s tends to asbb so we can conclude by writing g is equal to v sigma rs where v is s one non terminal and two terminals a and b sigma is equal to the two terminals a comma b a uh, rule r equal to s is equal s tends to asb or s tends to asbb or s tends to epsilon and s is the start symbol